Hello there, today we will check our caterpillars of Samia Ritzini, the airy silk uh, moth, and then we will uh, decide what we do, how many new uh, leaves of Ligustrum we will uh, present to them. If you want to see what I did with the caterpillars on uh, Brunus Laurocerasus, then you can go back to the German or the change the the channel to go to the playlist, the German playlist, and there you will see what I did to them. So what I will do today, I will take all of them out of the of this aerarium, and then I will put uh, on the bottom of the of the box. I will put some of the leaves like this. So if some of the caterpillars fall down into the substrate. Um, uh, and, uh, or to the bottom they can crawl up uh, these leaves or they can eat uh, on the leaves until I change uh, them because now it's a danger that some of the uh, caterpillars can fall down and if they fall down and they don't have a, a possibility to crawl up to a stem or someone uh, they will die and starve there. As you can see here we, on the top um, we have some or if when we when you have a look on the knees, we will see that there, there are tiny caterpillars here. You see that here, very tiny. This is already an L3, the third of five stages. And here you see, uh, that's what I want to show you under the lens. I just take the leaf away like right this. And what we see here is a uh, 2L2. No, really, it's the yellow, greenish yellow. Once and and the, the third one, the white one. This is already the third uh, caterpillar stage of Somio Ricini. At the end, in the fifth stage, they will be up to seven, eight centimeters long if they are well fed. Let's see whether we can do that with Ligustrum also, because normally or originally they eat on uh, Ricinus uh, castor plant. That's why the name is Somio Ricini or uh, Eilontus, uh, the, the, how do you say in English, I don't know, the Götterbaum in German, uh, the, the tree of the gods. So let's see how big they get in our breeding process here in the winter in Switzerland. What we can see here already also is another, look here is another uh, L3 three stage. It's already much bigger and the leaf is half eaten up so we have to uh, present them some new food and also we have to check our containers whether there's still enough water in these glass jars because if not the, 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 the leaves will dry out and then it's the, the, the leaves are not good enough for our small caterpillars. Here are also there are a lot of um, caterpillars hidden on the knees, the leaves, you uh, can see here is one a uh, two, three, L, three stage. So I put it this in here, and also here I put just some leaves on the bottom. So if they fall down, they can eat on the leaves or crawl up to the to the stems where the others are. So now let's see what we can find here. It's all. It's mostly. It's not completely eaten up, but the old twigs of Ligustrum, they have been eaten up very well. And on the dry leaves, we don't find any lorry. They just go to the fresh leaves, but also this one, they are not yet finished. Here you see underneath this leaf, you see the skins of the, I think these are the skins of the L1, of the L1. Uh, caterpillars, they they shed to they they molded to L2 and left this little uh, skin of the first larval stage here. Um, mold. Let's see whether we find here's an L3 underneath this leaf here. It's completely eaten up the leaf, but you have to be careful not to throw it away because you see here's a, a nice L3 larval trying to finish. Trying to finish up the, the leaf here, and the rest of the twig 
if you want you can put it into the uh, box just that they can crawl up also here you see you see that they are they have been eating in groups and also they shed their skin and they mold it together you see there's a lot of this uh, skin left over on the here underneath this leaf where they shed to the L2 stage this is the yellow yellow green stage here that you see this is an L2 and these are the L3 uh, so I think now this is green. Oh, here's the only also one underneath that leaf. So I just put it like this. So it can change to the other twigs, and so we have to check everything so that we don't. So also here we have one. This also we put it in like this. And if you want, you can. Put the new twig into this box. Uh, I have um, copped some of the new twigs from from my garden, and it's nice that it's not too cold now, so they grow very well. This ligustrum is a really nice plant um, as food for these caterpillars because you, it's easy to find them here in Switzerland also in the winter time. So it's the perfect food for urban farmers. You don't have to be af afraid that they starve to death. You can just go out to the city, look around, you will be, surely you will fi find some of them twigs that you can harvest for your nice, for your nice caterpillars of some yarity. So I have now two of them, and after I have cleaned, my aerarium here. I will put four of these boxes just like in to the aerarium like that so they can eat here and it's more easy to take them out to clean them or to change the food later. So we have the second box here. Same thing. Um, now let's see this. Look this is a nice this is nice big L3 lorry here under this leaf on the this leaf. Now they're starting to go solo. Uh, in the first and second stage they mostly live in, in group. No, they always live in group. Not mostly, they always live in groups. But now in the third stage they start to uh, crawl around and and uh, and start a life on their, own, of their, on their own. So now from now on you will find them not together in group but each one on the, his own leaf. Oh, there's, here's one fell down here, one fell down. I have to pay attention that I don't squash them here. So what I do, I present them here a new, also a new box with new leaves. Because now from third stage on they start eating really a lot of this and nice leaves and if you give them uh, not enough of this food they will have a problem becoming big and looking nice look how beautiful these twigs of of ligustrum are like this so and now I have to take my two small larvae that fell down, one is here, also waiting. Sometimes when they want to mold to the next stage, they produce a little silk uh, filament and then they, they glue themselves to a leaf so that they don't fall down in the moment they have to uh, mold to the next stage. They are immobile. And if they fell down in this moment, that would be very bad for them. So, now, we put them in to this new. And, of course, now we have to take out all of this. Look how they have eaten up a lot of this material here. And, of course, we have to pay attention. Um, and also, the... the the water has 
in the in this little glass jar has been sucked up completely. So I have to not only control all these small twigs, but also to present them new, fresh leaves. And you see here there are some large, some caterpillars underneath this. Uh, leaves also, so we have to bring them back to some new food so that they can go on eating and getting bigger and bigger. So that's the job now if you want to change uh, the food, the feed for the for these uh, caterpillars. You should do that now every, every second. To third day, as long as they are in the third stage, they don't eat so much, but later in the fourth or fifth stage you should even change the food every day, because now then they eat a lot of these uh, nice twigs and they will starve if you don't uh, present them new uh, food that they can uh, eat. So let's uh, I put this into this box too, and then I have to transfer all the leaves with the larvae, just I put them just here on the top of this leaf so they can change to the neck. Here's also an L2, green one, also here, and of course you have to check all these leaves whether there is a caterpillar that you don't want to forget to bring to the next box with the new food. And the, the leaves here are pretty dried out, so yeah, here's one more under this, under this leaf, so also this one we changed to the new. And also here, look at this patch. It's sometimes hard to see this one here. It's an L3 with an L2. Yeah. Also we changed this. And here on this this we can take to the force box and now we need some leaves on the bottom of the glass jars here so that it can fall up if they fall down. Like this, okay. The second one, now we have four of them that we should prepare. This is the third one here. What you can do, you can if you have an old uh, quick. Uh, you can just put this in to one uh, of this department and and place a new bushel of twigs with fresh leaves just beside them, so they can change to the next a good food twig as they want, but of course you need some new material because now they're starting to eat a lot here. They they eat uh, much more than in the in the early L1 or L2 stage. Now they are getting hungry, and later um, they become solo. They are not eating in groups anymore, when they become solo they eat a lot of food, so you have to change them every day, as I said already. Now this is also a very nice twig. A very nice uh, twig. So here they can eat a lot. And I have to take care for my nice Ligustrum uh, push outside, so that uh, I have enough food for my allow it to present to them. So now I have a lot more here. Let's see whether we can find some larvae here. Yeah I don't see anything but this I can put on the, on the bottom for the ones that fall down and here is Nothing. Also this one I can put to the to the bottom. And then I have the force box. Here I can place some of the 
caterpillar that some of the caterpillars that I find look also here completely sucked up all the water. Here is an L3. This one I have to bring to another leaf like this and place it and place it so that it can change to the no another plant. Here I don't see anything anymore, so they have already moved to the next one, L2. There's the yellow one. All to this I put here. And this partial we can put away. But I have more here. An L3, here are two, three L3. Here are a lot more underneath this leaf, so I put them into this box. What we have here, look here we have a big group of, of caterpillars underneath only one of these leaves. But where is it here? Yeah. I will show you under the microscope so that you can see how big they are already now. These are, look here, this is the size of the L3 and the yellow and the, the yellow greenish one is as L2. Lower with that are starting to mold to L3 is also smaller L3 is some bigger L3s. Now in this in this uh, container I will present them also a portion of new leaves that they can eat for the next around two days because now they are st starting to eat much more we have to change now in two days and we here have some really nice leaves so they will love it to come and move over to this kind of fresh leaves and the big tw twigs here, the old one, that's just placed in the middle of them, so they can uh, change to the to the other uh, leaves. And here, there are some leaves that look pretty good and well and not eaten up. All of them and on the knees, as every time you turn a leaf, you see a caterpillar on the knees. That's also, I put them in here. They can move to the other um, leaves. Now let's see whether. Some of them fell down here, I also put some of them on the bottom and also you can put some twigs on the bottom so they can crawl up on the twigs to the top where the fresh leaves are. So, and now, first you have to check here is a larvae, a caterpillar that fell down, an L2. We have to save it and bring it back to the container with the fresh leaves so it can move on and grow, grow and grow and as you look, if you have a look inside of the cage what you see it's completely filled with the with the fresh pellets of the caterpillars so this you have to change also and clean it and then you can uh, place back all the new containers that you have produced and then, if the fresh pellets fall down to the plastic container, it's also easier uh, to clean them. But also here you have to first have a look whether you find a lot it fell down. Here I see one. Uh, here it is. I try to carefully take it out so we can save the caterpillar and give him a chance to go on eating on the fresh leaves that we present to them. That's about all and we will come back next time when they have moved to the L4 stage so that will be in around uh, one week. Thanks for watching.